Year 298. Westeros. Realm of the Seven Kingdoms. The world has changed. The ancient Targaryen line of kings had its fire extinguished after reigning over the Seven Kingdoms for many centuries. Robert Baratheon's rebellion unified most of the realm's great houses under a single banner, thus bringing about the fall of the Targaryens. Thus, 15 years ago, he acceded to the Iron Throne, becoming Lord of the Seven Kingdoms. Far from the Game of Thrones and political intrigues, far to the north, in the land where winter seems never to die, a border cuts the continent in two, the war. The Night's Watch has been its guardian for thousands of years, protecting the realm at all costs from wildling attacks and other menaces from beyond. The danger is constant, the cold is bitter, and death is sweet for those who fall. At times, even the bravest warriors give up and attempt to escape this white purgatory. You were the one he'd send, Mars. Damned moment. It had to be you. It's over, old brother. All your attempts are in vain. You know I'll end up taking you to Castle Black, dead or alive. Why not let me get away for old time's sake? After all, we're brothers. You betrayed us by attempting to escape, my friend. My duty is to bring you back. You know there's only one way to leave the Night's Watch. I'm sorry, Mars. You leave me no choice. Oh, shit.
nothing's changed since the day we arrived. Fifteen years. Remember, Morris? We were so strong back then. At the time, I really believed in the mission of the Night's Watch, you know. You've changed, old brother. I never thought you would betray us. Aye, well, you've always had a knack for choosing friends. One night here, and you'd already bashed in three of our brother's skulls. I wasn't the only one there, if I remember rightly. <laughs> That's me. I never think of the consequences. All I do is give. Look at this, boys. Moss finally brought back that worm, Goral. Well done. Some men bit against you, but I waited to make it. It must have been quite a hunt. Goral knows how to cover his tracks and isn't half bad with a sword. I've known you for 15 years, but I still had just a shred of hope that I'd give you and your damn dog the slip. I would have hated getting caught by a little shit like our friend here. Hold your tongue, deserter. That's not what your mother said last night. I'll teach you about respect, dog. Enough. I forbid you to touch him. You would not have had the slightest chance against him, blade in hand. Tell me, where is Mormont? The Lord Commander is in front of the Commander's Keep with the new recruits. They've just sworn their own. So they are finally sworn brothers of the Night's Watch. Fools. Now you can teach them a little lesson. Right, Mars? Mars, you've brought this traitor back. I knew I could count on you. I did what I had to, Lord Commander. Your modesty does you honor. Recruits, listen to me. Moors here is our best tracker. Now that you are sworn brothers of the Night's Watch, he will mold you into rangers. He has just returned from a very delicate mission, tracking down Gorals, who took the cowardly route and deserted. In the name of the Night's Watch, I thank you, Moors. I know how hard it must have been for you to hunt down a friend. You have no idea. Tell me, Moors, is that a tear I see there? Of course not. The butcher remains ever true to himself. Just a moment, I only see four here. What happened to the fifth boy? Have you lost another one? He's right. What happened? Someone attacked him last night. He's been looked after by Maester Eamon as we speak. One of our brothers has broken his vows in the most sordid manner. That traitor then beat the poor boy and left him in the snow, more dead than alive. Damn it. I swear I'll skin the culprit alive. Alas, we do not know if the boy will recognize his assailant, or even if he is to survive. Too bad. The brat certainly was a pretty boy, soft as a virgin. What a pity I never managed to corner him. True to your reputation, Gorold, eh? You know me, always trying to get a laugh. Silence! Traitor! Each time I pass judgment on a deserter, I feel the bitterness of failure. It is my duty, as Lord Commander of the Night's Watch, to make true brothers of you. This morning, you were strangers. Now, you have all sworn to honor our oath. Some come to us as knights, carrying out their duties, and some as criminals, forced to choose between the noose and the wall. Once you take the black, your past is dead. You must wash away your former loyalties. Forget your family and friends. They cease to exist. Such is the strength of our oath. No wife, no children, no lands. All that matters is defending the war and the realm. We are your only home. We are your duty. We are your new family, the only one that matters now. More than 8,000 years ago, humanity itself was nearly lost during the long night. Our predecessors then built the wall that you see behind us. This massive wall of ice is 700 feet high and divides the continent in half. It protects the realm of the Seven Kingdoms from threats beyond the wall. Defending it is our purpose, our duty. The Night's Watch has unfailingly carried out this mission for centuries, generation after generation. Wildlings, cold, wind, and dishonor. Those are your enemies even in the midst of a summer, such as this one. We have all taken our vows before the gods, whichever gods they are. If you betray your brothers, if you break this sacred oath, throughout the seven kingdoms of Westeros, you will be met with one punishment, death. Pass the sentence and get this over with. Gorald was a brother of the Night's Watch for almost 15 years, but that bears no relevance. He will be executed for desertion. Beyond our mission, we no longer exist. Any last words? 
deserter. After all my years spent here, I've forgotten what warmth is. The cold has stolen the very memory. Go ahead and smile at the sight of me, the wretched deserter. But you may do the same one day. You won't be able to take it any longer, and you'll do anything just to live again. I tried my luck, and I failed. Come on, Mars. And do it well. Goodbye, old brother. Goodbye, old friend. I'll see you on the other side. You will live and you will die in the shadow of the wall. There is no other way. Welcome to the Night's Watch. Moors, take Ronit, Poddy, Seltigar and Patrick and put together a patrol. Make sure they smell a little less like summer before winter comes. Right. Listen, since I need to teach you to survive at the wall, let's see what you're worth with a blade in your hand. Gather in the exercise yard. Oh, Celtigar, you were as excited as a virgin to see your hero behead that poor Goral, weren't you? Watch your tongue, peasant. Lowborn scum like you often end up the same way. Oh, just listen to him. Still with his milk teeth that he wants to roar. Who knows, you little shit. I might even have been the one to squirt you into your mother's belly. <laughs> one more word like that, and I'll send you back to the shitty where you were born. Shut up, Celtigar. I'm here to train you, so show me how a knight wields his blade. At your command. We must speak. I've just returned from the infirmary with some very sad news. Maester Eamon will do nothing to save the boy. He has succumbed to his wounds. They were too grave. These are dark times for us. Justice must be done, Moors, for the honor of the Night's Watch. Before he died, the boy had enough strength to give us the name of his tormentor. He is one of ours, Kragen. Kragen? First Gorod deserts, and now one of our best veterans betrays his vows? You know what I expect from you, Moors. Cregan is leading the Western Patrol. They left this morning. I will leave immediately. Shall I take the new brothers with me to track down Cregan? They may still smell like summer, but I need them to learn how to patrol the wall. On the other hand, you'll have to do without Patrick. The builders need him. All right, Jor. Cregan certainly is a big fellow. I know. He's almost as good a fighter as you. Do not endanger your new brothers too much. We're too short of men to waste them. If you hurry, you should be able to catch up with him in the ruins of the Icemark Fort. Understood. One final thing. I received a raven bearing news that concerns you. A knight in the service of the King's Hand is riding towards Castle Black. He is coming especially to speak to you. The Hand of the King, eh? I wonder what he wants with me. I was actually hoping that you could enlighten me on that matter. My life belongs to the Night's Watch, Jor. I left the Game of Thrones behind long ago. So be it. May the gods speed you. 
Listen here, you crows. We meet at the west gate and leave within the hour. Patrick, vengeance will be several weeks spots along the door. I'm sorry, Moors, but our orders are clear. No one is to pass through here. We've had enough trouble for one day. on the other side. Down two brothers and one little ship for Castle Black. We'll find out what happened to them. I prefer the kids. They look all innocent, but they often adapt better. It's not easy for a man who already has a wife to take the black man. <laughs> Listen to him go on. Retake Iceheart. 